Hey everyone, I'm Jiksha and welcome to my YouTube channel. Or in this video, I'm gonna showcase how to install the VMware Fusion, a new released for public technical preview, and how to install configure the Kali Linux machine in M1 chip. Uh, for this, we need to download the VMware Fusion uh, technical preview. Uh, in this site, uh, it is the or download option is given. I will mention this site in the description. Uh, for downloading the VMware Fusion, we need to register. Uh, we need to register account on the VMware. Uh, when you click on the download, you will see you we will redirect to the download download session. And when you click on the download now, uh, you will be told to register. I I have already registered my account. As you can see, I I, I have been redirected to the customer connect dot vmware dot com. I will simply log in to with my account. Mm, when you uh, when I log in, uh, my download down, my download will begin automatically. Now, I also have to agree the term and condition, and the download will begin. And since I have already downloaded, I will <coughs> downloaded the file. I will not download this again. And the iOS image simply download it from the official Kali Linux website. Mm, uh, download the bare metal one uh, for M1 ch M1 chip. Mm, that's this one bare metal recommended one. Um, uh, in, please download the installer. Uh, it, it is when you download the net installer, it, it it will take more time. Simply download it. I have downloaded both the file <coughs> as you can see Kali Linux 2022. 1.3 and the VMware Fusion for installing the VMware Fusion simply double click on it and uh, you, you the, the, the installation is very simple you will be given to the given the product uh, product key when you register uh, you simply sign in with the account you have you used for the registration on the official website uh, now I will show how to add the ISO image uh, in the VMware for new for this uh, let me open VMware Fusion technical preview and here you can as you can see as you can install from Dixar image simply drag the ISO image here and uh, click on continue uh, select the Debian 11 64 bit ARM and click on continue in here you can see customized settings uh, setting is given i will simply rename the file as kali and save it and uh, and this is this, this is pop uh, windows is pop up I, I will configure the processor to true processor and uh, hard disk file i think 10 gb will be sufficient 10 gb uh, no no let, let, let me configure it to 15 gb to if you uh, otherwise in the, it will exit uh, uh, let me apply so uh, let me use uh, in the display option use the retina option and as you can see here many options are available in the VMware fusion we can also connect directly USB to this uh, our, our virtual machine and uh, let's let's boot it and here the installation is as usual we as usually as we have booted earlier early in the in the utm installation Let's country. Let's rename our machine. Let me rename my machine and section and give it password. And then we can click on continue. I'll go with the default option. You can configure according to your reason. Click on continue. And the disk we have, as we have created earlier the 15 GB file, 15 GB one. And here click on yes and continue. And the installation will begin. Usually, go with the default option. Don't 
but if you don't customize it but if you know the customization fee go according to your will so yeah, this installation usually take time for but for the sake of video i have speeded up the video so please be um, don't don't be in rush it will instruction take time and the installation is complete let's click on the continue and the machine will boot up now the machine has booted up successfully let's click on let's let, let me is, maximize the window size uh you would confirm that uh, let's maximize it and with the username and the password and as you can see we have our college Linux machine ready uh, you ready inside the m1 chip using the vmware fusion technical preview and yeah and let me check the internet connectivity uh, as you can see the network is also working very fine Uh, and we have our both um, VMware Fusion Kali machine and uh, our host parallelly align these with each other and here you can see within the machine is ready to use uh, one thing more that we cannot mm, customize the desktop size as, desktop size as we used to doing YouTube uh back where is the desktop size all setting display option yes there this one this one is default and we cannot change it right now i think they will improve it in the ne next update release but for this time for this uh, we have we, we only have this uh, this feature this resolution available uh here in the in this uh, we can directly connect our usb uh external adapters everything uh, it will it, it automatically asks where to connect to or either to mac or to uh, or, or to our virtualized machine as you can see here every option is available connect uh, network adapters uh, man many things uh, we can also customize our desktop size if you want to change and here you can see our network card is also connected and in display option we have, we have used our retina display and in sharing here you can enable the sharing folder option add the folder which you want to share between the host and the virtual day, virtual machine and as you can see the total size is has reached to 8.9 GB after the installation and uh, the main thing about this VMware Fusion is that we can take the snapshots, uh, snapshot and keep keep the state and return back to it whenever you want. I will take a snap uh, after the installation as start strt dot one and take it. And as you can see, I have I, I have my snap ready. Uh, do like the video and say, comment down your queries if you encounter any issue thank you for supporting in previous previous video videos uh, i didn't expect that much that much of uh, views uh, do share the video if you find it helpful